Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Dose and in this video we will see a very simple trick in order to find pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal of a given binary tree. Let us assume that we have been given a binary tree. Now how will you calculate the pre-order of this binary tree? You will have to start from the first node and whenever you reach a node for the first time you will give it as output. So your output will be A because this is the root, you will be starting from the root. Then what you will do is you will keep moving to the left node. So when you reach B, you will output B. Now you will reach D. So you will have to output D. And wherever a node is having either the left or the right or both the pointers as null, like this D is a leaf, so the left and right will be null. E is left and right will be null. F is left and right will be null. And C is having just right as null you can create markers like these simple lines okay now when you are at d you are printing d after d what comes is b but b was already visited so now we will go to e when we reach e you will print it then after e you will again reach b but b was already traversed now you reach a then you reach c you will have to print c here then what will come is f you will print F and after F you will again reach C and after C you will again reach A. So you can see that the pre-order traversal has been simply calculated to be A, B, D, E, C, F. Do try it yourself on some another binary tree. So let us look at another example. This is the same example and in here you are asked to say find out the in-order traversal. So what will be the in-order of this binary tree? you will have to draw the same structure since d is a leaf you will draw here two simple lines denoting that the left and the right pointers are null similarly e and f are also leaves c is not a leaf but its right pointer is null okay now what you will do is you will start from the root node and a is the root node you will reach a and in in order traversal you must be remembering that when you reach the node for the second time you will have to print it since we are reaching a for the first time we will not print it then we will reach b for the first time we will not do anything we will reach d for the first time we will not do anything after that this is the left pointer of d there is no left pointer so we will again reach d so we are reaching d for the second time and so we will print d after that we will go to the right subtree of d and since there is no right subtree so we will again come back to d after d we are reaching b and here you can see that b is being reached for the second time so you will have to print b after this b you are reaching e for the first time you will not do anything you will go to the left subtree of e but there is no left subtree so you will again come back to e and since you are reaching e for the second time you will have to print e after this you will go to the right subtree of e and since there is no right subtree, you will again reach E. After that, you will again reach B. And then you will reach A for the second time. So now you will have to print A. After that, you will reach to C. C is being reached for the first time. You will not do anything. After that, you will reach F for the first time. You will not do anything. You will go to its left subtree. There is no left subtree. You will come back to F and you will print F. Okay. After this, you will go to the right subtree of F there is no right subtree again you will come back to f again you will go to c and here you can see that c is being traversed for the second time so you will print c after that you will go to right subtree of c there is no right subtree again you will come back to c and again you will come back to a so the in order traversal of this binary tree is d b e a f c you should try this as an exercise and you should try on different types of binary trees let us look at the post order traversal you will again draw the same structures wherever the left and the right uh, nodes are null and then uh, this C has a right pointer as null. Okay. You will again start from A and in post order traversal you know that first you will traverse the left subtree then you will have to traverse the right subtree and when you reach that node for the last time you will print it. So this is how post order works. You will start from A, A is being traversed for the first time, you will not do anything, then B, then D is reached for the first time. You will go to the left subtree of D, there is no left subtree, again you will come back to D. This is for the second time. 
now you will go to the right subtree of d and there is no right subtree and you will again reach d now d is being reached for the second time this is the last time this is the third time okay you have already traversed the left subtree you have traversed the right subtree and you have come back to d now you will print d after that you will reach to b b is being reached for the second time you will not do anything you will go to its right subtree you will go to e for the first time you will not do anything you will go to its left subtree and then again come back to e you will go to its right subtree there is no right subtree you will again come back to e since left and right subtrees of e have been traversed so now you can print e now you will again reach b and you can see that the left and the right subtree of b have all been traversed and we are reaching b for the third time and this is the last time so you will print b after that you will reach a and a is being reached for the second time so you will not do anything you will go to its right subtree it has c c is being reached for the first time you will not do anything you will again go to f f is being reached for the first time you will not do anything you will have to go to its left subtree there is no left subtree you will come back to f you will go to its right subtree there is no right subtree and again you will come back to f since left and right subtrees of f have all been traversed and this f is being reached for the third time you will have to print f after that you will reach c now this c is being reached for the second time and so you will not do anything you will go to its right subtree so there is no right subtree again you will come back to c now c is being reached for the third time and so you will have to print c this is the last time and when you reach a then this is the last time for a because both the left and the right subtrees have been traversed and so you will print a so the post order traversal will be d e b f c a i hope i was able to make you clear the simple trick behind in order pre order and post order traversal do practice it on some other examples of binary trees if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos comment below if you have any type of problems or doubts see you in our next video thank you